Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm gonna talk about folding the un unfolded parts. So in my previous tutorial about folding and unfolding, I've talked about how you can how you can create a cutting or a hole on a bent surface by using the folding and unfolding. And in this tutorial I'll be talking more about folding the unfolded parts. So first of all, let me go to generative sheet metal design and open up the workspace the first thing first setting up the sheet metal parameters to the default and uh, let's firstly create a situation where we can f firstly unfold and then fold the sheet metal and then I'll be discussing about the three different uh, folding techniques. So the three different folding techniques are the natural, defined and spring back. The folding is the folding tool is used to fold the wall and fold it by using the unfolding tool back to its original position. Firstly, let's just create a base wall of any dimension. So I'm just doing it this way because when we when you are following my tutorial you would be having a work file too. You're creating the work file and then you're working on uh, a particular tool. Otherwise you wouldn't be having a file on which you need to work. I hope you understand if you were following my tutorials previously. And the next thing what you could do, you could probably go for a flange would be fine. You can give a particular length in reverse direction if you want. So this is the bend face. Here we have the bend radius and this is the flange portion. Now let's unfold it first. So here we have the unfolding tool. You can go for select all and this face will be selected and you need to select the reference face for unfolding. Now the sheet metal is unfolded. Now if you want to do some uh, cut holes or anything you could do for, go do over here. Now the important part now is the folding. So by default natural option will be selected when you are going for the folding. So let's go for fold here and select all. And you can see the natural is selected. You have another two options, one is defined and one is spring back which I'm going to explain you. Firstly, the option is selected as natural and the wall will be folded back to its original position. So the angle spinner will not be available. So in this case you don't have the angle spinner. So all you have to do is just select the reference face and it will be folded back to the original position. Now let's just delete this folding and work on another folding here. This time we can go for defined. Select this option if you need to fold the wall to an angle other than its original position. Specify the angle and the angle spinner. So in this case you could specify the angle and the angle spinner maybe 78. Select the reference face as like before and you can see the angle is calculated from this face from here to here it's 78. This was 90 before. So that's how the uh, defined works. Now let's see how the spring back works. So I'll close or I'll delete the folding here and let's go back and check out the spring back. Select the spring back option if you need to fold the wall at an angle with respect to its original position. So here they refer the original position. 
the original position is this position so if you give an angle here just select the spring back select the reference face if you give an angle here maybe 30 degree click on the preview the 30 degree is calculated from the from the original position this is the original position of the sheet metal so 30 degree is being added so you have these two different uh, option to differentiate and uh, work so I hope uh, you understood these these three different uh, options of uh, folding and if you have any doubts or clarifications regarding this please comment below the video and I'll be getting in touch with you and uh, if you would like to request any particular tutorial please write to me at ketsia.pro.user at gmail.com and if you have any project uh, inquiries you could also write to me at ketsia.pro.user at gmail.com my website is uh, on the process and it will be launching soon and uh, I hope uh, all of you guys are enjoying my tutorials and stay tuned guys thank you